One of the saddest videos that I'll ever have to do on this channel. Uh, well, that's a big call. I hope to be doing this when I'm in my 90s. But I think that this is pretty lame in itself. No offense to everybody that just clicked onto this. Thank you for doing so. Make sure you like and subscribe for more personal abuse hurled at you from a stranger. And that is that as we've discussed in the title of one of these videos before, that 74% of Gen Y, or 73, one of those figures, is lonely. They feel like they're lonely. Oh, you suck. And the reason that you suck really isn't your fault. Did you know that the amount of time that human beings spend interacting with one another has decreased in the age of social media? So over the last 10 years from, get rid of this. This is going to make you want to smack yourself in the nuts for no reason. Don't know why you want to do that. I certainly wouldn't want to do this after I heard this information. However, it went from, you're a weirdo. It went from 50% of your day talking to other people down to, you ready for this? You ready for this? 23%. Less than half. And it keeps dropping. So you have lost, I can't do maths well. What, 100%, 50%? Yeah, it'd be 50%, wouldn't it? 100% being zero. 50%, more than 50% of the time, the practice that you would have interacting with other people. This is a lot like when they leave monkeys away from their mum and then just give them a wire mesh with like a monkey face on it, go, Hoo. and then they put them in rather monkeys and then the scientists sit there and write and be like, strangely, these monkeys don't seem to have the same social skills as the one that was raised by a mum. That's what's happening to you. You are replacing, you are, think about it. You are replacing a mother monkey with a mesh monkey going, <laughs> there you idiot. That's what you're doing right now, aren't you? This is pathetic. You have actually looked up a video. Think about how much you suck for a second, right? No offense. Uh, actually, there's a lot of offense there and it's clearly meant. And I can't really hide it. You have looked up, oh, I, I don't know how to make friends anymore. And fair enough. Look, we all go through those phases. I don't know why I'm being so mean to you. Here's what I want you to know about that, though. The fact that you are looking this up instead of interacting with other people. It is your fault, but it's not your fault. Does that make you feel better? Does that confuse you? Well, if you're confused, that means you're about to have a breakthrough. And that breakthrough is that in this day and age, when people have become extremely antisocial, you have to understand, first off, that that is a result of the newfangled technology that you are consuming, such as right now, genius. It's not only that it is robbing you of time that you have learned how to suck on the monkey tits that are your mum. It's getting very obtuse, this metaphor. And then the next part of it, though, is that it is also, as we discuss on this channel, showing you all of these people interacting in weird ways. So if I just talked the way that I'm talking to you right now, and let's be honest, I am not that extreme. Have you known of a little guy called um, Jake Paul? Like he just beats people up for a living. Okay. This jacket is very annoying, I know. Yeah, I know that there's going to be a bunch of people commenting on it and how much they hate it. And they're also wondering how often I wash it. And the answer was, I used to wash it once a week, but now I'm not going to. Just to annoy you, it's going to get fainter and fainter in its whiteness and become a yellow egg color. And I fell over the other day and sprayed my hand trying to chase my dog down a mudslide. And we'll get into that another time. And yeah, so it's just going to get dirty. And I like dressing like a bitty. And you know why I like dressing like a bitty? Because it upsets you. Sorry, uh, we'll go back to this. <laughs> the, the, the way that I'm interacting with you right now, obviously, is not socially acceptable in most situations. Like, if you go into most of your office places and interact like this, unless you work at a paintball place and it's looking for excuses to shoot you, it's probably not a good excuse to walk up to someone and go, no, 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 you're inferior. <laughs> oi, oi, pull my finger. Oh, no, you missed it. But that's how people interact now. And it is definitely true. When you see people interact from Gen Z, the way that they interact, I'm sorry, but people thought that our generation was fucked. You people, you are those monkeys that have been deprived of any touching of other monkeys for the most of your life like there's something not firing off in your brain like you think that the way that you're socially interacting is normal and acceptable with other people and look i am a recluse from my generation 
What I do is insane. But I am nothing in comparison to the average Gen Z, and it is because they have spent all their time looking at all these psychos on WWE. Oh, I need a change! Oh, please! Oh, so. Like that. And so they think like, oh, that's, that's, that's how you're supposed to react, right? Monkey see, monkey do. Anyway, that's what's happened to your brain. Why you aren't able to make friends, first off, is because you're inferior and there's no hope for you. No, just kidding. There is a little bit of hope for you, just a tad. And that is that I think that what's happening in your head is everybody has internal dialogue, don't they? They have somebody that is having a conversation with them in their heads all the time. You have probably replaced it because of social media with people like me. You are just having an internal chatter all the time and probably all spliced up with a bunch of effects all the time going, boop, 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 whoa, all the time. You are trying to drown out your internal dialogue, which is even worse because that means, what does that mean? It means that there is zero introspection happening in your life. None. All that is happening is people on the outside that have no idea who you are sitting there inserting their manufactured hyper-reality into your head that doesn't exist in the first place, that's what's replacing your tool that creates self-reflection and, this is the scariest part, your self-concept. Your self-concept of who you are is getting drowned out deliberately. I think the reason that you do do it is because you're scared, aren't you? It's like that Star Wars episode. No, not the goddamn TV show, you goddamn Gen Zs. The original and the best. The one that was made well before I was born. That one, where no one had the sense to butcher their own art, least of all fucking George Lucas with his crap next ones. Don't tell me it was good, it wasn't, it was a travesty. That part where he just walks in and is like, your biggest enemy is yourself. Kind of true, kind of true. As we discussed in a previous video before, there is always going to be three enemies in life. When it, at any stage in your life, there's always going to be the external enemy, which is probably your rival company. Then there's going to be the internal enemy, which is going to be your spouse, usually, let's be honest. And then the internal enemy is you, facing your own inner, inner demons. And a lot of that you just wanted to drown out, usually because most people's internal dialogue, the voice that is on in their head, is tuned into negativity FM. Not nice to be around. So you want this endless distraction, which is available to you at all times. But you know what that does? It just turns you into a diseased rodent. That's it. And the disease is a lack of manners. <laughs> kind of. But also, yeah, it just kind of just makes you dumber and duller and tunes you out and more of a psycho and a skits. These aren't good things to be replacing itself with. Just this usual feeling that you had in your head of, oh, I'm scared of going to a party. Just replacing that with, you don't need to go to a party because there's something way more fun happening here at the jam that doesn't actually really exist. This is just a hyper rendition of reality, just like reality TV. Anyway, sorry. Um, getting off track. No, I'm not actually. That was pretty on point. My internal dialogue needs some tuning, and it always does. But this is one thing that I'm always saying to people, which is, sorry, this is all a roundabout way. You're probably wondering what this has to do with you making friends. Well... I think that mostly the reason that Gen Z is lonely is what is social media clinically proven to do? Make you feel dissatisfied. You look at the index charts of what are the happiest countries on earth. What's always at the top? A bunch of Buddhist nations. The more developed a nation is, the lower down it is. Normally, there's a few exceptions to that, like ones that are just like, this is the weird thing that the entire universe is always saying, oh, we want to be more like Scandinavia. Fuck that. You want to be more like Bhutan. Bhutan has reached the pinnacle of humanity as, as far as I'm concerned. And on top of that, they have a king still that makes all the shots. And I agree with that as well. But everybody's always moving for this utopia Scandinavia where it's cold all the time and everybody is distant and robotic and nobody knows that because they've never actually been there. And then they're always talking about, yes, it's actually higher up on the happiness indexes. And why is that? Because they just give their entire fucking thing antidepressants. That's all. They're just dulling their senses. So what I want from you to know is that you can just change a lot of these things internally in your own head. What's happening in your head? Most people are always talking down to themselves. 
What's the one piece of advice that I want to give you right now? You switch that voice around because you can do that immediately. You absolutely, don't tell me you can't. Unless you are a schizophrenic, you can absolutely change what is in your head right now. I've given you the tools before. The main ones are you change your physiology, i.e. the way that you're standing. Losers stand hunched over like the, the, you know on a laptop all day, which is why I've got that mighty hump in the back of my neck, so I can't talk. But anyway, I try and make myself more standing upright, and I'm thinking about it right now. And then the other one is asking yourself questions. If I had something to be happy about right now, what would it be? Those are the two things, because your brain is always searching for an answer. Give it a question, and it will search for that answer. But this is the whole thing. That makes it sound all robotic kind of is, but I want you to think more like, and this is something that you kiddies wouldn't know about, Gen Z, FM radio. Yeah, I want you to think of your brain as FM radio. You can tune into the negativity channels or you can tune into the positivity ones. And it's very simple. This is the creed that I want you to live by for the rest of your life. You talk to yourself like you're your best friend. Most people do not. Most people do not talk to themselves like they're their own friend. Most people talk to themselves like they're their, and this is where it gets deep, parent. They talk to them like they're their parent. The reason they do that is because that, unlike those poor monkeys and those cruel experiments, was your first voice. It's the most ingrained voice. And what is a parent's job, even if they're a good one? First four years of their life, don't touch that. Don't put that in your mouth. Don't walk outside naked. <sighs> so many rules. That's what I want you to get out of your head. You are going to start talking to yourself like your friend talks to you. Oh, you clicked on this because you don't have any? Oh, that's a shame. But you know what is it though? This is why. This is why I want you to do this because this is training. Because what is your internal reality becomes your external reality. So if you talk to yourself like you're a friend, how do you talk to someone if they're a friend? Let's just go through this very quickly. I know that we're running out of time here as ascribed by B. But when you're talking to a friend, what happens when, say, uh, they didn't make it into Australian Idol, the reboot. Oh, that's okay. I think that you're a good singer. No, they were probably just looking for something else. Well, I think that if you just practice a little more, maybe you might be able to get on next time. Hey, maybe the flavor of the month changes that time. You don't need Australian Idol. You've got YouTube. You're going to be thinking of all of these reasons to assuage the other person. What happens in your own head usually if that happens? You're a failure. I didn't know why you think that you could have gone there now. Oh, everyone's looking at you. No, they're embarrassed. Oh, I'm embarrassed as well. No, no, no. All right, just just put on TikTok and just drown me out. I'm, I, I'll be here next time and I'll still... This is the next thing that you're going to hear when you come into me. You ready? <sighs> you can change that immediately. That's what I want your model to be. Now, I want to try and get this under 15 minutes because I know that these videos go for too long sometimes, but I just want you to all be able to wrap this up in a big bow. The reason that you want to be talking to yourself like you're your friend is because what happens after that? You become positive. Why do people want to be around positive people? Because guess what? You are not alone in your loneliness. Everyone's lonely now. That is the result of living in a hyper-consumerist society that has millions of people in it. They get isolated into their little ant hives and then they go to their job and then they work in their little cubicle and then they retreat back to their ant hives so that they can sleep to go back to the cubicle. They do that until they die. And so in that lifetime, there is the not what you see in Vanuatu or something where they just sit around being like, yes, it's raining in my hutch and I can't be fucked to fix it. <laughs> and everybody is in this like small little community and they know each other and they're much more happy than we are. I remember asking one of them when I was there, would you rather live in Australia or here? Because they worked in Australia and they made money in Australia and they made a lot of money because it's Vanuatu back here, right? And they don't need much money to begin with. So heaps of money for them. Where would they rather live? Vanuatu. Why? Didn't even have anything to do with the fact that they were living in a tropical paradise. Surprise, surprise. It was because they were part of a community. 
but you have to start with the community within your head. You have to start talking to yourself like you're your best friend. It will not only give you more encouragement to go after your goals in life, but it will make you a more positive person and that makes you a more attractive person. And the thing is, people are always looking for people that give them encouragement. There is very little encouragement in this world, especially in the social media world. You become somebody that encourages others you will be at, you will never walk this universe alone again. Anyway, make sure that you sign up to Jordan Shanks if you want more tips for that. If you do want to go ahead in life, whatever whatever problem you have in life, I have people all the time that come up to me and say like, I don't know, my boyfriend introduced me to you or uh, I found you out randomly when I was looking up goal setting. I've been watching you for two years straight. You would not believe the person that I was before as opposed to the person I am now. Make sure that you subscribe at a very bare minimum. Make sure that you like this video because you just, you got to start being positive and nice right now, okay? And then you sign up for less than a chocolate bar a week. You are going to get so much more nourishment out of it than something that's going to make you fat and gross and disgusting. I'm going to give you a lean, healthy body and I'm going to make you healthy in the mind and I'm going to make you a winner, damn it. And you are going to let me. You are going to let me by going past the paywall of mystery because there is ne'er a better investment than investing in Jordan Shanks. I truly believe that. That is over 300 books of self-help advice. Way more. Probably I'm up to 400 at this point. 400 self-help books of advice for the lowest price possible and it will get you far. It will fulfill your dreams. I guarantee it. And there's no way that I can say anything other than just being an empty guarantee. But hey, most of them are. Most of them are. This is one that actually works though. Trust me, the guy that is doing it by...